It's a women's bantamweight title fight between Juliana Pena and Amanda Nunes. All right, here's the number one women's bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Pena is 30, Nunez is 32. The reach is identical. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. And it's time! Hard round for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida. Introducing the challenger, Amanda the Lioness. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, four losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. Juliana, the Venezuelan Vixen Pena! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go with round one. You've got maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on a Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner of the highest order. You got a sprawling brawl tonight. Yeah, you got a sprawling brawl. You got to keep this fight upright. She needs to make sure that she doesn't overextend on any punches and find herself on the ground grappling with this fantastic jiu-jitsu specialist. Nunes has got the tie clinch. She's got a good one. She connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. And everything's landing with so much power. 
Right hand punch to the clinch. Well placed kick there by Nunes. Oh, and there's another leg kick. Just out, right? I mean, now she has sort of rendered her opponent, as you see the damage, a, a one-legged fighter. She is fighting a one-legged fighter, a wounded gazelle right in front of a right. lion. That is not a great Ooh. position to be. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish the fight. Nunez gets caught with oh, that, that punch. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for him. What a connection over the top. She's wobbly now. She's hurt very bad. She's on skates. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's going to take one more. That's going to end the night. Nice punch by Pena. Battle for position here. And there it is. So her best entry, I think, in terms of the offensive wrestling and the takedown attempts finally gets her opponent down for the first time tonight. It feels like she gave up on getting the takedown so it started to flow more naturally. Right. She was not forcing her entries anymore. Just let it come to her, and now she's got the takedown to speak for. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. That knee might have landed there. Oh, she landed a combination of knees there. It forces her opponent to retreat. Devastating knees on the ball. Master of the transition. Nice scramble. Nunez gets in the clinch yet again. Big oh, knee lands knee. there. Oh, How about those five minutes? All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of there. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually that's enough to end the fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. What a body kick. Pena gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. There's a takedown attempt by her there. Not a great entry. What is the Olympian? She has to mix it up. She has to trick her opponent to go to the spot that she wants if she's going to get this fight. Two shots by her there. Probably the best strike of the fight. Her best strike. You don't see this type of power movement in this weight class. But she lands and she lands. Very effective. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Nunez gets caught with that punch. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Real sneaky body kick. Back in the clinch now. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands among the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. If you're a oh, she can the takedown beautifully and scrambles back to her feet. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitance. Nice take that win. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's Nunez is looking for that arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch 
Oh, we're getting a finish here. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Pena. Man, she's got a pretty good left hand. Went to it there. She's a right-handed fighter, but the left side has become just as good as the right side. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it. Now they really the job of throwing punches with a kick. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. All right, so she's making her way back to the stool, kind of shaking her head, thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought the fight was over. But if you know her, if you spent any time with her, you understand that she's a smart fighter, and she will get right back to doing what she needs to do to win this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Good punch, Lance. Again, back into this position. She lands a switch knee. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on. on making up for lost time here. Nice leg kick land. Joker, I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Not tapping out tonight. She's got side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her here. Now, in the side control, you may feel like the bottom person that you have a lot of outs, but there is a lot of danger in those positions too. A lot of danger in the knees coming your way. A lot of danger in the chokes, so you have out, but you're also constantly under duress from a great top fighter. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every there movement has purpose. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. There you go. Wow. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to their feet. Nunez is back in full guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly, surprisingly, we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. We thought the fight was done, but we moved forward because her opponent is so tough. 
but she's so skilled that she can't get there again. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five is now underway, and now is the time, DC, where the endurance, the cardio, and the overall skills of these women figures to be tested. Yes, both of them will be tested on the skill level, but also the mental level, the emotional level. It takes a lot to get through round four and five, and both of these women are going to have to ace the test if they want to get their hand raised at the end of the night. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Left hand fucks with the clinch. Oh! Can't take pictures. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Trying for a submission now. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Use your elbows, use your elbows. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain. That her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. Oh, pretty good job there posturing up and landing with the ground and pound. She has been very efficient in this situation tonight. Very efficient and very accurate. Hats off to her. Oh, Pena's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Man, her submission attempts keep on coming. Going for the choke now. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely done. Her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Nunez is back in full guard now. All right, so there's that kick to the leg, and you can be sure she's going to go back to the well with that. She's beating up that lead leg, dominating it, and slowing down her opponent. Look for her to continue doing that same technique. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on the knockdown, because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? This is the last round. The last round. You've got to get this fight to the ground. You lose your Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. What a punch. in this division get knocked out by that strike. Near perfect execution. She found a little crack in the defense and found a home for that strike. Landed flush, and that is another one for the highlight reel, but few prettier than that one as she gets the big knockout win here tonight. Well, that knockout win is useful for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She lit up this arena here tonight, and you can be sure the celebration is on and will continue deep into the night.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 26 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. All right, so she is the new UFC bantamweight champion, joining an illustrious list of former champions in this division, Misha Tate, Ronda Rousey, She's on that list now. Right next to Amanda Nunes. I mean, you are now amongst the legends. Congratulations.